Say hi to the vlog. No. Say hi, everyone. Did I actually scare you? Yes, you did scare me. Well, you're pretty easy to scare, so I guess that's not really a... Ow! Boy. Hello. Sniff the camera. Sniff it. <laughs> Smells like vlogging. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. So today's vlog is actually sponsored for the first time ever. I've never done a sponsored vlog before. I don't even know what that means or what it's gonna look like. But basically this video is sponsored by Cooler Master. And the only message they really want me to convey to you guys is that they're now selling their new mechanical keyboards at select Best Buy locations in the United States. They gave me 100% free creative reign on how I make this video, which was probably a terrible idea on their end. But no, I think we can figure this out. If Cooler Master wants to show off their new keyboards at Best Buy, then why don't we just walk into a random Best Buy near me and see if the keyboards are there? What better way to demonstrate the availability of select mechanical keyboards from Cooler Master at select Best Buy locations in the United States? It's a genius idea! Okay, I admit this is a half-baked plan and it's probably not gonna go well, but at least it's a plan. So I say we just head to Best Buy right now because quite frankly, I'm sick of walking in circles in my living room. Are you ready? Ready. Ready! Camera operator for the day. Woo! Wifey cam. Wifey cam, shake it out. Wifey cam. Woo woo! Okay, we made it to the Best Buy. We're here. Things are looking good so far, but I have not seen any keyboards yet. There are some peripherals. I do see some headsets here, mainly for Xbox. I, I don't know. I don't know where the heck the keyboards would be. Wait, are these DVDs? Hold on. Is this like a joke aisle? They're doing this ironically, right? Okay, keyboards. If I were a keyboard in here, where would I be? Ooh, OLEDs. They have OLEDs. Shiny. Can we look at the OLEDs? <gasps> OLEDs. Look at how gorgeous this TV is. Just look at, look at those trains. Have you ever seen a more gorgeous train in all your life? No, the answer is no. You said no. You know what this TV really needs, though? A gaming PC. That's a great idea, babe. Lucky for this TV, I always come prepared. Oh, crap. Power. What are we gonna do for power? There's gotta be like a power strip around here somewhere. Maybe behind? There's an outlet down there. All right, let me just plug this in. <sighs> Even at the local Best Buy, we care about cable management. Wifey, can you pull the cable while you're recording? Pull the cable through the spot. Pull it through. There, there you go, stop. Good teamwork. You know, it's kind of funny. I've gotten, I've gotten scolded many times for filming inside of a Best Buy. And now I'm getting paid to do it. Funny how that works. Look at this. All right, see? Now Best Buy should actually just start implementing gaming PCs connected to all of their display TVs. I think that would really sell them. Oh, look at this high-end HD PC that you can connect to your OLED. Oh, doesn't sound good. Not a pleasant sound. That's the sound of the radiator fan hitting the power supply cables. It must've gotten moved around when we came over here. I didn't bring a screwdriver. You need a screwdriver to open the side panel for this case. Where on earth are we gonna get a screwdriver right now? I got a screwdriver from the back. Talked to one of the guys who works here and uh, he was able to hook it up. I'm not exactly sure if he knew what I'm doing here, but he was very nice. So I got a screwdriver, yay. Only gripe about the Dan case is that it does require two Phillips head screws close properly. And you think to yourself, well, I'd never be in a situation where I'd have to crack open my side panel and not have access to a screwdriver because most likely you'd be at home. But you know, if we're gonna invade Best Buy and dick around for a while, of course it helps to have toolless entry. All right, so I see the cable that's touching the fan blade. I'm just gonna sort of push it up with the screwdriver until it's out of the way. That's all it took. Pop this back on. Now we can finally boot this thing without any issues. And if all goes well, presto. <laughs> we are now just one steam logging away from gaming on this OLED. Although we don't have a keyboard, shit. The keyboard, I'm supposed to be doing a keyboard video right now. Let's get the keyboard and do what we came here to do. Do I get distracted easily? Does this happen often? I'm gonna go get the keyboard. I'll be right back, okay. Guys. Okay, I think I'm getting warm, warmer, warmer. Ooh, graphics card, nope, don't get distracted, Kyle. All right, Cooler Master, Cooler Master. Is this it? CK552, this is the one. This is the one they're talking about. Hey, look at that. Mechanical switches, how much is this thing? 
$80? It's actually not too bad for a mechanical keyboard with a 10 key number pad. All right, so I'll take one of those. Is there anything else from Cooler Master here? Oh, what is this? MM531 gaming mouse, also RGB. It must be good. Sure, whatever. Seriously though, it is kind of nice to see brands like Cooler Master that are very PC DIY centric being sold in retail stores like Best Buy. It's one of the things that brick and mortar stores still have over online. No shipping times. CK552 impromptu in-store unboxing. Here we go. This is actually a pretty handsome keyboard. Look at that. Brushed aluminum finish on the top of the body, raised keycaps, lengthy rubberized cable, and it is fixed to the keyboard. I actually prefer fixed cables to my keyboards. Let me see them feet, girl. I'm gonna put this keyboard kind of close to my lav mic to, get, to give you guys a little sound test. Here we go. Sound good. Fairly quiet. You could definitely use them in an office without disrupting everybody. Cherry MX stem, so you could replace these keycaps with your own custom set if you wanted to. The switches are not cherry, however. They are Gatoron, uh, which I'd actually prefer to Kale from personal experience. They feel a lot nicer in my opinion. Of course, everyone's gonna be different, but it feels nice. The nice thing about these Gatorons is that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get your hands on a keyboard that features them. Uh, whereas you kind of do with Cherry MX switches. They're just so damn expensive. Okay, I'm ready to plug this thing in and give it a whirl. I also kind of want to see what the RGB looks like. Let's go. Kyle, you forgot the box. Oh, just, just leave it there. I practically own this place now. It's fine. Come on. All right, Cooler Master Mouse going in. Sorry, competitor mouse. Should have sponsored the video. My body is ready. This is so stupid, but kind of awesome. All right, let's kill some demons. Oh. So really quick, I wanna check out some of these function keys at the top row. Looks like there's sort of like a breathing, pulsating effect. The LEDs are really bright, especially for being in a bright store like this Best Buy right now. You can see them very clearly. Ooh, fancy. We've got some different preset modes here. Reactive seizure mode. I'm pretty sure that's what this one's called. The obligatory rainbow wave, of course. What is this? Static. And then you can change the colors like so, more reactive typing. So it looks like you also have some on the fly macro abilities here uh, with just a few clicks of the keys. You can actually set up your own macros. I believe there's 512 kilobytes of onboard memory on the keyboard. So wherever you take it, you have all your profiles saved, which is pretty cool. Windows lock key, very important. And that is just tip of the iceberg for all the cool things this keyboard can do. And gotcha. Woo! What a rush. Everyone should go out and play video games at your local Best Buy. Just bring your own PC. No, it's a terrible idea. Don't ever do that. But I guess the moral of the story here is that you can now buy a Cooler Master CK552 mechanical keyboard at select Best Buy locations in the United States. Very exciting to see brands like this popping up in brick and mortar stores. I should also mention the CK550 is the exact same mechanical keyboard as this one, except it has a gray finish, and you can purchase that on Amazon or Newegg.com. Uh, huge thanks again to Cooler Master for making this video possible. Thank you to Best Buy for letting me shoot in your store. They do know I'm here, right? But most importantly, thank you to you guys for watching this video. Toss a like on it if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed for more tech stuff coming at you really soon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I have one last thing to add on to this. There's a really cool giveaway going on from Cooler Master, of course, that you can enter right now. There's a link in the description below. It's basically to celebrate their entry into select Best Buy locations across the US. It's the Found at Best Buy giveaway that's offering over $1,000 in prizes. The grand prize winner will take home an H500P mesh, two 200 millimeter RGB fans, power supply cooler, and a whole lot more. Plus, 10 other contestants will win some awesome Cooler Master gear as well. If you wanna increase your odds of winning, you can head to a local Best Buy and find the MM531 mouse and the CK552 keyboard that were featured in this video. Take some pictures of them, upload them to your social media site of choice. All details can be found in the link below, so go ahead and check it out, guys. Good luck, and I'll see you all in the next video.